Think of a giant show put on by all the stars, planets, and moons working together. Now, there's this one thing that's been bugging scientists for ages, exoplanets. These are just regular planets that hang out around stars outside our solar system. You might be surprised to know that way out in the Milky Way, with all those stars and stuff, there are planets beyond our own backyard. Some of these are a lot like Earth, similar, but still a bit of a mystery. You could say they're like Earth's twin in space. So, let's jump into the cool world of Proxima Centauri b. It was found only 4.2 light years from us, and it's changing how we look at these space puzzles. The universe is full of chances. Just imagine drifting through our galaxy, the Milky Way, which holds over a quadrillion exoplanets. That's one with 15 zeros after it. If each exoplanet was a grain of sand, we could fill up the Grand Canyon and then build another one just as big. Get this, about 20% of these planets are thought to be similar to Earth, with similar land and air. That means there's a 1 in 5 shot of finding a planet like ours. But wait, there's more. There could be another quadrillion moons going around these planets, just like ours, moving with their planets. If you've ever wished to find another place in space that has life, or could have life, the universe has tons of choices. One of our best tools for this is the James Webb Space Telescope. Now that you know how huge space is, let's talk about the James Webb Space Telescope. It's got a big mirror and can see things even better than our best stuff here. Its main mirror is 6.5 meters wide, almost three times bigger than the Hubble Space Telescopes. Just think about how much detail it can see. From a tiny star super far away to the little things going on around exoplanets. But what's really cool about the James Webb is all the fancy stuff it has, like sensors and spectrometers. These aren't just for looking, they break down light from far off objects so scientists can figure out what their air is made of, what chemicals are there, how thick they are, and even how much they weigh. They can tell if a planet has water, stuff like us, or even air we can breathe. It's not just a telescope, it's like a super smart detective. It's way better than Hubble. If you were amazed by what Hubble found, get ready to be blown away. Now, let's look at Proxima b, which is the most like Earth. Since it was found in 2016, this planet has been a big deal for scientists. It's got a lot going on and it's still a mystery, which is why astronomers and astrophysicists are all over it. What makes it so interesting? First, it's pretty close to us, only 4.2 light years away. If you could travel at light speed, you'd get there in just over four years, about as long as a TV show lasts. Why is being close so important? Well, in a universe that's over 93 billion light years wide, finding a planet that could have life so close is like finding a needle in a haystack. It's a rare find that could tell us a lot about life itself. Proxima b is just one piece of the puzzle that could change how we think about whether life can live outside of Earth. It's not just that Proxima b is close, it's also that it might be even better than Earth. Imagine Earth 2.0. Proxima b is in its star's habitable zone, where it's not too hot or too cold, so there could be water. Think waterfalls, rivers, lakes, and maybe even oceans as big as the Mariana Trench. But before we start planning a trip, we should know that a day on Proxima b is about 11 Earth days long. Imagine a sunrise that lasts forever, followed by long afternoons and sunsets. It would be a photographer's dream, but it could mess with our bodies. How would we handle the long days and nights? Would we eat more? Would we sleep differently? It's like nature is daring us to figure out what makes a planet good for life. So, how do we get info about a planet we've never been to? The James Webb Telescope is how. It's not just a telescope, it's like a science lab in space. It lets researchers look at planets with tools as good as the ones we have here. By using its spectrometers, it breaks down the light from distant worlds. Each thing in a planet's air takes in and lets out light in its own way. By studying these light patterns, scientists can find out things like how heavy the air is, how hot it is, how thick it is, and if there's water, stuff like us, and oxygen. Astrophysics isn't just guessing anymore, it's like space CSI. We don't just wait for hints, we go after them, looking at the smallest things that make up planets' way, 
way out there. The web isn't just an eye in the sky, it's a specialist, a lab, and an interpreter all in one. With its tools, we can turn ideas about alien worlds into real guesses, changing how we think about which planets might have life. Just when we thought we knew it all, something wild happened. Astronomers using the James Webb Telescope saw something weird coming from Proxima b. It was a signal so odd that it got everyone talking. It was called a techno signature, like a message from aliens. For a bit, everyone thought we might not be alone. But then the signal went away. No one heard it again, and now we have even more questions. Was it just a random thing? Something natural? Or was it a message from another world? That signal made Proxima be even more mysterious. Was it just a fluke, or is there more to the story? But hold on, the story isn't over. Scientists at Harvard University want to turn the James Webb Telescope into a night vision device to look for alien cities. They're thinking we might see lights, like the ones from our cities, shining on other planets. As we keep exploring, we're looking for life beyond Proxima b, powered by our tech and our love of knowing what's out there. Because of space science and astrophysics, we've found lots of exoplanets that could have life on them. Tools like the James Webb Telescope and ways to find biosignatures have made it way easier to find and study these planets. One cool thing is looking at exoplanets that are in their stars' habitable zones, where there could be water. The more we look, the more we see. As space detectives, we're checking out the unknown, ready for anything that might change what we think life is. It's amazing to think that the universe is still holding onto secrets for us to find. Space exploration is one of the biggest things humans can do. Driven by wonder, we're going further than ever before. With tools like the James Webb Telescope, we're understanding space better and getting closer to finding life beyond Earth. One of the coolest things about finding exoplanets is realizing that we're not just finding new planets, we're changing what it means for a planet to be able to have life. As we look at worlds way beyond ours, we're asking new questions. Does life have to be like it is on Earth, or can it live in totally different places? Can things live where there's a lot of radiation or in oceans of weird chemicals? Can life somewhere else be totally different because of different chemistry? Lately, we've found creatures called extreophiles that live in boiling water or near volcanoes under the sea, which has made us rethink where life can live. These tough life forms show that life can happen even in crazy places. Now, the idea of alien life seems more real than ever. Even better, computers are helping scientists look through tons of data, finding things we might miss. With these new things, astronomers can find exoplanets that might have life with amazing accuracy, making it easier to find those worlds. The telescopes of the future might get us closer to answering the question we've had forever, are we alone? The space is still going on. At the same time, the idea of technosignatures, which are signs of smart, techie life, has started new talks in science. What if we're not just looking for life, but for signs of smart civilizations? Could the lights from far-off planets be messages from advanced beings? That weird signal from Proxima be reminded us that space still has surprises that go against what we think is possible. If the James Webb Telescope finds even the smallest hint of alien intelligence, it would be one of the biggest moments in human history. Finding life, whether it's tiny or smart, would change everything we know about ourselves and what's possible. As we go further into space, we also have to ask ourselves, what's our place in this huge universe? Should we try to talk to aliens? What rules should we follow when we explore other planets? By learning more about space, we're not just looking for life somewhere else, we're also learning what it really means to be human. The future of space exploration looks amazing, with lots of cool discoveries and breakthroughs. We're just starting on this new adventure. Alright, back to Proxima b, our closest Earth-like planet. Since we found it in 2016, scientists have been hooked. It's close by, only 4.2 light years. If you could travel at light speed, you get there in about four years. Why is being close so important? Well, in a universe that's 93 billion light years wide, finding a planet that might have life nearby is like winning the lottery. It could tell us a lot about life itself. 
In the whole grand scheme, Proxima B is like a tiny piece of the puzzle that could change everything we know about whether other planets could be habitable. And it's not just that it's close. Are signs it might even be better than Earth Earth 2.0? Proxima B is in the perfect spot around its star, not too hot, not too cold, so water can exist. Imagine rivers, lakes, maybe even oceans. Before we get too excited, though, there are a few things to keep in mind. A day on Proxima B is about 11 Earth days. Can you imagine the long sunrises and sunsets? Gorgeous, sure, but it would mess with our bodies. How would our sleep be? How often would we eat? Life would be familiar, but also pretty weird. So, how do we learn about a planet we can't visit? That James Webb telescope again. It's like a lab in space. It breaks down the light from other planets, and each element leaves a different signature. This lets scientists figure out pressure, warmth, and if there's stuff like water or oxygen. It's as if we're tracking down the clues and checking out the smallest pieces that make other faraway planets. This isn't just guessing anymore. It's like cosmic CSI. Just when we thought we had this all figured out, there was a twist. The James Webb saw something strange coming from Proxima B, a signal. It was so weird that some people thought it might be a message from aliens. For a minute, everyone thought we might not be alone. Then, poof, it was gone. Just silence and a million questions. Was it just a fluke? Something natural? Or something else? It made everyone look at Proxima B differently. But the story doesn't end there. Now, some researchers want to use the James Webb Telescope to look for city lights on other planets. The idea is we might spot lights, even on the day side of planets shining across their lands. As we keep exploring, the hunt for life is going past Proxima B way far into space driven by new tech and our natural curiosity. We keep improving our ability to find and study faraway worlds. One area is looking at planets that are in the spot around their stars where water could exist. The more we look, the more we find out and this may break our assumption of what life can be. Space stays amazing, and we like to think there are still awesome secrets waiting for us out there. It's one of the best things humans can do, to keep seeking for what's out there, and with killer tech, we are more able to discover life. What is awesome about exploration is that we question how a world can be inhabited. We gain new angles and it begs the questions of what it takes for life to exist. Creatures that thrive in super extreme environments have made us question what matters when it comes to if life can survive. Even better, artificial intelligence is helping us see patterns to better discover life. The idea of finding what may be alien techno life has brought up new interesting ideas. What if we are seeking more than just biology? What if we are looking for an intended communication from an advanced society? We must also think about what our part comes in the whole universe. Should we attempt to speak with alien life who live far from us? We are pushing forward into this universe and searching for more on what it means to be human. The fate of this whole universe promises transformation.